As a current ServiceNow user or someone curious about starting with the platform, please enjoy this quick overview of six exciting functions added to the latest ServiceNow update. Stay to the end to learn how we can help you get the most out of your ServiceNow journey. Hi, my name is Aaron Smith. I work for Volteo, and I have the privilege of helping people like you get the most out of their ServiceNow investment. Volteo is a top gold partner in sales, service, and training worldwide with a global presence of platform specialists across three continents. Volteo is ranked in the top three for customer satisfaction as measured by ServiceNow with more than 150 enterprise customer implementations worldwide. ServiceNow's continuous improvement process is in part reflected through its two feature releases per year, which include user and customer suggested improvements and functionality. Releases are named after well-known cities, the current one being London. New in London, a virtual agent has been added as a conversational chatbot native to the platform which can help users solve common tasks, thereby reducing agent workloads. ServiceNow simulates support agent responses as users participate in a natural question-response conversational experience where pre-configured workflows guide the user to fulfillment of their needs. In this way, your human agents are able to focus on critical and non-standard tasks while the virtual agent takes care of common chores. Users will experience faster response times and improved customer experience while the support desk sees reduced call volume. In this demo, we see how a person might interact with a virtual agent through their smartphone. And a user can gain, glance through the service topics or use keywords to find or get more help with what they need. The virtual agent can open an incident ticket for the user, prompting them for required information. The agent will show available knowledge articles in case the user can resolve the issue themselves without the need to open a ticket. Failing that, the virtual agent will gather the remaining details needed, informing the user of the incident number and the next steps. Next, our user places an order for a computer, accessing the service catalog in three simple conversational style steps. First, asking to place an order. Second, describing what it is that they want. And finally, selecting from the available catalog stock. From there, the user can keep shopping or submit the order for fulfillment. IT Operations gathers vast amounts of event data from tools monitoring configuration items, known as CIs, in your environment. It is a major challenge to sift through all of this data, especially when it's being collected by different tools used by different teams in different areas. With Insight Explorer, you can centralize your CI metrics data to identify bottlenecks, see patterns across multiple CIs, and effortlessly produce reports to monitor or share your findings. As part of ServiceNow's operational intelligence application in London, we see in this demo how easy it is to build a new metrics view in a simple drag and drop interface to better understand factors impacting our electronic messaging business service. We first drill into the service elements to browse and select from the available performance statistics. In this case, we will be focusing on memory and disk usage over the last hour. The intuitive interface allows you to place data visualizations individually in the view or even stack multiple sources in a single graph for easier identification of irregularities or performance issues that if not resolved could trigger impacts to our critical business service. Finally, we can learn more about response time of this element by applying other statistical aggregations on our data over the selected time range. In London, Walkup Experience represents a new application with the goal to simplify and improve the customer experience of in-person support for those needing or preferring face-to-face -face service. This feature will increase the satisfaction of service users with easy online and on-site check-in to a pre-established Walkup Service Center. Users are informed of their place in the support queue and shown knowledge and catalog options for avoiding the wait. Service desk agents gain visibility to end user experience, helping them provide more effective support activity planning. In this demo, we see a person using a desktop browser to register to a support site 
and placed immediately in the queue. This could also be done from their phone's browser or ServiceNow application. In this case, the user decides to try later and so easily exits the queue again to leave the space for others. Many companies enable employee collaboration using Microsoft Teams or Slack. Many of these same organizations have ServiceNow at the center of activities to create records, accept or reject items, perform request fulfillment, host knowledge, and many other service enablement processes. To bring these capabilities together in London, it is possible to integrate these applications to pass actionable notifications that allow creating or modifying records in ServiceNow in an easy and common sense way without needing to leave your favorite collaboration tool. In the following demo, watch how a user within the Slack application who has a problem with access to their email can contact the ServiceNow virtual agent for assistance with their issue just as if they were in the native ServiceNow chat interface we viewed earlier. Triggered by keywords and selecting a desired service from the available options, the user is walked through the process of creating an incident without leaving the collaboration interface. The virtual agent offers articles related to a problem to assist in resolution without the need for a ticket. If none of these items is useful, the virtual agent guides the user the rest of the way, resulting in an easily opened incident sent out for resolution to the corresponding assignment team. The IT business management module has been considerably improved to support agile development using Scrum techniques, as well as adding support for activities based on the scaled agile framework to help you apply lean and agile principles to organizations, including large enterprises. With this functionality, your agile teams can get to their goals faster than ever. For example, giving priority to the most important tasks through the weighted shortest job first functionality for optimum scheduling or coordinating test management with your stories. In this demonstration, we see the main scaled Agile framework board where you can see and manage the functionalities of development activities by state, browse through the backlog of desired features by Epic, so you can select to view and edit details. Under program increment planning, you can define and update increments to identify the features that need to be completed within that program increment. And finally, we can observe the big room planning board where we will see increment features by sprints and assignment teams with dependency sequencing in a simple and visual way. Security Incident Response in London brings us a new security analyst workspace user interface for a more modern and easy to understand approach to working multiple security incidents. Aimed at security analyst users, the interface starts in a separate browser tab with quick filter views of open incidents, personalizable lists, and a preview feature that allows you to analyze key details of an incident without clicking on the full view. The interface is made up of tabs and tiles and may be personalized by analysts who can expand, collapse, and drag tiles around to view and position them optimally for their style of work. In the demonstration, we can see the user move quickly from filtered lists of incidents to the peak view to opening for investigation a critical security incident for further review. Our analyst is able to easily move from an overview of the information to a deeper dive of related information, including what configuration elements are being affected by the incident and the services that are, are being impacted. A timeline of the incident is available to see all of the updates over time, finally allowing the analyst to move to close the incident. Thank you very much for watching this video. Remember, we've only looked into six of the major improvements in the London release. In total, there are about 40 new features in London that could bring more value to your organization, just as they're doing for thousands of others like yours around the world. 
If you would like to know more about these features and make plans to implement them following best practices, we're at your disposal. And together, we can see your organization continue on its evolutionary path to greater value. Please contact us by email and we'll gladly assist you. We are Volteo.